Hi folks and welcome to my channel. Today I want to show you a quick preview to create an Angular application without ng modules and that only use standalone components, a new feature available from Angular version 14. We also see how to handle dependency injection, create routes, nested routes and navigation and how to use lazy loading by using standalone components. This is my first approach to the creation of an Angular application without modules. Honestly, I'm not sure this is the best approach we can use and if I will really use it in a real world application. Anyway, I was too curious to try it, so I have created this demo and I wanted to share all this with you. As I told you, this video is just a quick preview and is very fast, so it's not suitable for beginners who are not familiar with the framework. First, we create a new Angular project with inline template and inline styles. As you can see, this is an Angular project with the root module, app module, and the root component. First of all, I delete the module and I will bootstrap the application using the component instead of using app module. So, I can remove all code in main TS and I can clean the template of app component. Now, we can import and use bootstrap application function and we can use app component as first parameter. We can also set some options, but we will see it later and of course, we can also handle errors. Now, we can convert app root in a standalone component and since we don't use app module anymore, we need to import common module and all the other features this component needs to work, as we'll see soon. For now, we don't need a second parameter, so I can remove it from the bootstrap application function and I can run the application with npm start to see if it works. And this is our first Angular project without modules. That was pretty easy. We just imported up component and used the first parameter of the bootstrap application function. Just it. Now we want to inject the HTTP client service in our component and of course we receive the famous error no provider for HTTP client since this instance is created by HTTP client module but we didn't import it yet. The first solution is import the module directly in our app component and as you can see it works. Or we can use the second parameter of the bootstrap application function and use import providers from to import everything from HTTP client module. And the result is more or less the same. We can now create a couple of standalone components in the features folder. If we try to use it in app component, we'll get an error since Angular still doesn't know that this component exists. To fix this problem, we can simply define it in the imports property and that's all. And if we need to use some directives in another standalone component such as home component, for example, I may use energy model directive. Oops, we have more or less the same error and to fix it, we can simply import force module since it's included in this module. Usually, in the past, we set the primary router rules in the app module or app routing module, but this time we simply create a new file roots.ts in which we define all our rules. There are a couple of differences with the approach we have used before Angular 14. First, we can set the path of the page, but also the title, and this is one of the new features. And instead of using the component property or load children, I use load component that allow us to lazy load components. Now we come back to main.ts and we can load router rules by using router module in the provider's property. As you can see, the router works and both contact and home components are now loaded as new chunks when we open a specific URL. So I create a simple navigation bar with two buttons and I add the router outlet component to load the component in according with the URL. And since router link and router outlet are part of router module, we need to import it as well. And everything seems to work fine.
Now I want to show you how to create a nested roots and I create two children for the home view. So I create a secondary navigation bar for these children and I add a router outlet on home component as we just did for hub component. We can now open the roots.es file that we have previously created and we add some rules to handle the home's children. And of course we can also define the default path so when we go to home we automatically redirect to child1. And as we can see, when I go to home, I also load child1. We can also load children by using lazy loading, as we did before. And now, when we load home, we also load the other chunks. One for child1 and another for child2. And now, I want to show you one more stuff. We can also split the roots.es file in several files. For example, we can move all roots we have created for the home feature to its own folder. So I create a home root.es file where I specify the home component as the default component to load, and I also set its children, copying the roots from the main roots file. I just fixed the path folder, and now we can load the roots instead of the component using the load children property. We can now remove the imports that we don't need anymore. And as you can see, now the home path load the roots from the home roots.ts file. And this file defines the home component as default and the two children for child1 and child2. Now, as you can see, the application works as expected. In fact, when we go to contact or home, for example, we can see the chunk that is loaded and also the child one. When we go to child two, we see the other chunk. Anyway, as I told you at the beginning of this video, this is just my first approach to the creation of an Angular application without modules. I'm not sure this is the best approach and if I will really use. Anyway, I was too curious to try it, so I did this demo and I shared it with you. Okay, that's all for this video. Let me know what you think about this new approach. Don't forget to subscribe my channel and see you in the next video.